for us, you know, um, that we can use to um, think of dedicating ourselves into this tech thing. So, um, uh, but before before then, um, there is another of our keynote speaker that that is here. So, um, the whole of this event today is going to be. It's supposed to be half hybrid, you know, half you know, just physical. But let's just use this opportunity now to start with um, using this very day. There are so many events that we are going to host in the nearest future, so long as we are around. Um, but um, I we want to welcome um, Mala Musa. Mala Musa is always a developer here, and he's from Reading Kelly too. And um, he really wants to be amidst the group and community, and he wants to share what he has so far to us. So please, a round of applause for Madam. Okay, um, I'm self taught. I just had a program and I attended some online. Okay. So I think today we're going to talk about the other forward. Anyway, shall um, I come from this? Uh, I have been the music quota for the past five years. I've got a music quota. I'm in Java, Java, what is it called? Let's say Java. Okay, let's, talk, uh, let's say Java on um, the Android development and uh, Kotlin, rather, I've got to visualize it. So, for Flutter, it's a very simple thing to understand. You put your mind into it. Most of, most of it is always a uh, code base. It's something that you be. Be like uh, what we are, what we are, if we are using uh, Android as an Android development. So I'm sorry for the this because I'm not prepared for this. I've done it before. We need to prepare for something like this, but suddenly I don't know <laughs> any much thing that I'm going to tell you for now. But maybe inshallah, we will finish it. I will prepare something for you before we finish our, this session now. So I'm sorry for any inconvenience for now. Because I'm not prepared anything. I'm just going back from somewhere else. So they call me so as as I think. But inshallah, if we finish this in our first stream for you guys. There's something you can take home. Where well, you can take home with and leave the video on it. But inshallah, this is going to be a fun session. Nevertheless, it's only for any inconvenience. Thank you. A talk from um, our brother, a friend, a colleague. So um, he's supposed to be a colleague to all of us now around because developer, the only devs knows. What tech to be a dev? You have to disconnect from your childhood friends. You know the friend that doesn't share the same, the same let's say class, dreams, ambitions with. You have to find the people that are at the same. You know the people that are trying to be in your shoes and and who you want to be when you grow up. It's a very big question. I used to ask myself this question a lot, a very lot. So many of us don't know who they want to become, even if you know. They can go to university, finish a degree course, and maybe got a job and start working. But they still don't know who they are, they don't know what they want to be. And as a developer, you have to have the passion first. That is what we have to have. The passion to, to like build things. The passion to change the world. You have to have this passion, because it's only the passion that's going to be keeping you around. And you also have to have a great mindset. A great mindset. My brother Musa speaks to us that he's a self trust developer. I don't know, maybe if you understand what it means to yeah. be a self trust developer. That he has nobody physically that is teaching him that. So he just go to YouTube, right? How to fix my modem. You get like then web surface. How to, um, for example, um, how to set an edit, how to add image, how to upload HTML, how to do this and that. You just go to YouTube, go to Google and ask and make your own research and know how to do it and try to solve the problem. That is a soft touch developer. So, um, uh, you see, like, if you are starting now, it's of utmost advantage that you have self touch developers in your shoe. Those developers that are self touch have this skill of every developer, you know, ability to find what you want on the internet is the most important skill you want. You just have to have this skill. You have to know how to browse very well on the internet and make research. Because I believe 70 to 75 percent, I'm very sorry to be quoting some points while our seniors are here, uh, 70 to 75 percent of what you do is just research. You got, as a developer, fewer times you write code, and like 20 to 25 times you read the code, and 60 to 65 percent you browse how to make your code work, and why is your code not working, and why did your code work this way and not that way. So, there is a very lot of work to do, and and um, 
he speaks to us about Kotlin and some other frameworks. Meanwhile, now we are going to speak vividly about Flutter, you know, Flutter and that's like this Google um, invention. Why are we going to specifically speak about Flutter? Is because this event is Google Developers Group event. If you want to fast our communication, fast our conversation, we have to like join to the Kemitify. You got like that is the opportunity like that we have, we could have not speak about anything if, uh, apart from what Google has invented so far. So, um, uh, I think we should just start with the, um, let me say the slides presentation. So, um, speaking of, Start by speaking of. I need to tell you what Flutter is, why Flutter, how Flutter. Yeah, because and when Flutter. Because these three core key questions are questions that every developer is supposed to have in mind whatsoever. <coughs> why, when, and how. These three questions are of utmost advantage. Why Flutter? Why do you say you want to be a developer in the first place? Okay, if you know why you want to be a developer, why would you choose Flutter for development? Yeah, and, and how are you going to use Flutter to scale up your career in this tech event, tech activity developer journey that you are starting with? And um, when are you going to, you know, when are you going to use Flutter full time? And when are you going to make it become a cross platform uh, 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 that you take advantage of. So you just need to know about all of these things and Flutter after all it is pros and cons. I don't know what pros means and what cons means. Like um, Since we are speaking to um, people that, we are speaking to hybrid people in a combination, somebody might not know what pros is, right? Please, if you don't know what pros is, I mean, yeah. So pros is like advantage. Everybody knows advantage. So it's like we are speaking about get to know the advantages and disadvantages of Flutter. That means get to know the pros and cons of Flutter. Why am I going to use this in my in my um, uh, experience? So speaking of Flutter, being a cross-platform SDK software development kit. What it means to be a software development kit? Software development kit is quite pro um, different between library. You know, framework and software development kit. There are these differences. So, if if you are starting, uh, you know, today and you picked up a framework, bro, or I mean, say, browse and sales, it will be too difficult for you to to get along because you just start a framework at, at the top and go along. All of these frameworks are built are built on you know high level languages, and there are certain reasons for each framework and um, framework to be to be born. Like developers themselves give birth, give birth to um, these types of frameworks so that they ease their work. Like, like speaking of React, React is a um, JavaScript framework, a book is a library of mm -hmm. JavaScript. Yes. But React was uh, never given, wonderful guide in, in was never into learning. existence. React was never into existence until when the developers in JavaScript, um, um, JavaScript developers, realizes that it is too difficult on the server side rendering and the client side rendering to be, you know, changing the ass, you know, um, the rampant ass. Like, look at this um, example, um, example of, let me say, gg.com. If you click on gg.com, for example, or any, like, aliexpress.com, you will be seeing prompts of, you know, ass, like, different ass prompting to you, you know, maybe you click on this one, you don't want to see this one, the other one comes, you don't want to see this one. So all of that is server side, you know, uh, uh, client, client side rendering on the, on the, on the, let me say, on your app as you are seeing it. So it is changing automatically, dynamically, and, and there is a lot of work to be done. So now using React, React is solving a lot of problems that you have to be, you know, at some level in development to understand why it is there. But Flutter, um, um, Though Google built this Flutter to ease their work, so but personally I'm a fan of Flutter because Flutter is fast and it's built on C language. So like it's very easy between between um, um, uh, um, um, it's very easy to to talk to computer hardware using Flutter. You got if if you are 
your chance um if um if your choice is to like build let me see I think we have um, ladies here. Maybe you just want to build um, like for delivery or something like just um, chapman or something. So it's very easy using for You don't need to learn any JavaScript or anything. You can have it. You can have on the web. You can have on the um, on mobile, desktop, and whatever. That is what it means to be a cross-platform. Okay. Yeah. So cross-platform is um, if you pick JavaScript today. You are only going to build for the web because JavaScript is dynamically rendered on the web. You are only building for the web. HTML and CSS are the building blocks. You can't run away from this. Um, but but um, using just pure JavaScript, you can't have, let me say, fully functional app without connecting to this JSX or HTML or whatever CSS you got. So uh, why Flutter? Flutter works with zero HTML, zero CSS, and zero JavaScript until if you wish. Yeah, because coming of Flutter 2023 comes with the integration of um, JavaScript into into Flutter 2023 because Flutter Wave is being you know rendered out and people who want to take advantage of Flutter Wave going to and fro. Which I will try to walk you um, um, at the end of my talk. I will try to walk you towards the, the, the demo of how um, Flutter Wave is there and how JavaScript is communicating with Flutter Flutter on the web. So. Um, you see, the other opportunity of using Flutter is you are restricting yourself on a single code base. On a single code base. Uh, what do we mean by restricting yourself building on a single code base? Is, for example, now, I need to build a mobile, um, um, uh, let me say, I need to build an online store. So now I got this developer, he knows React, or this guy knows Laravel or something, then I invited him in. So he built an app for me. Now, my mobile app reaches time that I want to have an online pass, uh, online presence, like web presence. So I need to go to www.myshop.com. And if, if that Laravel developer, only specific, uh, his specialty is only on mobile development, or maybe that React Native developer is only you know, building just mobile app applications, I will have to hire another developer to come up for the web, right? Yeah. And if, for example, I want to build for iPass, you got tablets. I want to still hire someone to come and build for me. So it means in your own company, in your own company, you are having you are having multiple segments of developers. Bro, it will be a super nightmare for you to like sleep and wake up to receive an email from your boss that you are swapped from your team. Maybe you are from team A, and in team A you are working with JavaScript pure, vanilla JavaScript. Then you just see yourself in, 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 in the next day, maybe belonging to um, Team B. And Team B, maybe they are using PHP to work. So this will be super difficult. It, it's something that you can never achieve. You get signing out from this programming background to another programming background. You can't achieve that. And if the, the, the person that has this web store or online store is going to hire more developers, it's going to be too costly. Maybe at the end of the day, it's not going to even benefit from what the profit is like looking for. So that is why Flutter plays a very vital role in, in this development thing. Because you can use Flutter for being it a cross-platform. You can build for web that you can access directly on the web. You can build for Android that you can access on the um, Android Play Store. You can build for um, iOS that you can access on Apple app. You can build for tablets, you know. I, I believe in the future, you can even build for smart fridges and smart watches and all of this like that. So Flutter is the top of town and like using Flutter, we can have all of this if you want. Yeah, and the SDK I started speaking to us about SDK is supposed to be like um uh um this uh, speaking of the software development toolkit, it will be like a battery part in what we mean for example as an SDK is I'll give you an example here. Yeah, now this place is well, a I learned well, that this place has um, laptops. Um, and thank you for tuning in. My name is John, I'm a development relations engineer on the Flutter and Dart team. Um, so I believe this place is, I will give you an example of what um, SDK means, for example. Um, if you come here now in here, there is network, um, there are seats to sit, a comfortable kind of working, there are laptops, if you don't have laptop. This place looks like a tech hub. Like anybody that comes from wherever he is in, sign into this place, can really believe that yeah, this place is 
dedicatedly driving for tech people, you know, so, so that you can sit and you can read, you can learn, you can do a lot of things. So this is like a battery packed, you know, place, but the main focus of this place is just tech. So it is like that on Flutter. Once you come to Flutter, you don't need to go looking for, oh, I need to find HTML. It's already there, something that is representing HTML. I need to find CSS. You can have some, something to center your team. I need to find JavaScript. That is there. So almost everything you want is in one place. You don't need to go um, um, checking things online. That's about um, SDK. SDK, I think. Yeah, 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 we can ask questions. We'll save your questions, but we'll ask you. So, a single code base, it means we can maintain we can maintain the app and make changes easily. So I can have one, two developers in my company, and these one, two developers are the people that will continue working for my company maybe for the next one, two years. And no problem to that. They will build my web app, they will build my Android app, they will build my iOS, they will build whatever I'm, I'm working on. And, and they are the same developers I have already hired in the first place. Same salary, same everything. So maintaining the code data is very easy. So if the maintenance is easy, it means it's less costly too. So that means profit is high. And the rapid development is um, about, no, no matter how, I'll tell you this, no matter how you are, if you come to Flutter environment, you come to Flutter, you know, trend, you get to realize that Flutter is fast. Flutter is fast. In development, whatever you want to build, you know, quickly build it and, 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 and it goes up and running. So, something that is supposed to take you, for example, six months, um, if you are using Flutter, maybe one, two months is okay. If, if you are constantly working with that. So, the best features I know of Flutter or NEC, um, um, the best features of Flutter, let me say, is Flutter is fully working on every background you set it to work. You set it to work. What, whatever operating system you have the type, whatever you know features you want to achieve, you know whatever functionality dynamically you want to give your app to do animations. You want to have an animation in your Flutter app. Maybe you want to build an, a game. Like I, I know now there are people that are wanting to build a game. You can just start with Flutter and you can build a 3D animations too with Flutter. So Flutter is is really the talk of town. Um, one one of the most one of the most things that I love about Flutter. I love about Flutter is the hot reload. Yeah, I love Flutter simply because of this hot reload. Because whatever you are working on, even if you are building games, even if you are building games, you can automatically write change, and as you write change, you, it will just hot reload. Once you save, it will hot reload, and it will render around you. You'll be seeing what you are doing instantly working, instantly working. So yeah, actually it's working like this, but but um uh uh Flutter is of. Interesting, right? Yeah. So speaking of the interest, um, I think this links, this links. I kept these links for us, for maybe anybody that wants to advance his research. Because today, today is um, mainly not supposed to be a day that I will waste so much time speaking to you about Flutter, or maybe showing you the code base of Flutter, or showing you how the file structure of Flutter works. But I just need to like open you up to tell you that using this Flutter now. It, it, like you, you can have whatever you want to achieve in the field of tech. If you want to be just a software developer, you know, maybe looking for work somewhere, there are companies in the, in, in the world that are looking for Flutter developers. They will hire you if you stick to it. Dedicate your six months of you know learning, constant learning into Flutter, and you will give yourself you know a miracle experience. Another thing is, another thing is like if you at all want to um, uh, find how this Flutter is being done and where are these um, Flutter developers around? Um, how you can leverage all of that? I think I need to add a um, link for Google Developers Evangelist and this Flutter Developers Evangelist that maybe you can. Um, but forget um, LinkedIn to Google Developers Evangelist. This is the most important link I want all of you to, to check. Because once you check this link, you'll see how many apps and what type of apps are built on Flutter. Like what companies, you know? Like today I'm going to say BMW company. You know, has hosted all of it is web app. You know, all, all of the and tranchi, tranchi, everything on the computer on the um, on the car screen. You know, everything is built on Flutter. Not only BMW. There are so many companies that uses 
in order to build their businesses. Then it's a scalable business so far that they are, they are, they are achieving whatever you want. So you can just look at the showcase and you go through how many you know, apps are there and you can think about what you want to build. You want to be a game developer like an indie hacker. Game developers are called indie hackers in case you don't know. So if you want to be an indie hacker, Flutter is a good thing. You can just stick to Flutter and you can continue doing it. If you just want to be a 3D animation renderer, like uh, I can come to you today on this very event, if I can have a very big F of Flutter, you know, cycling around, cycling around, maybe that I can try to keep on a screen around here, it will be fun. Like, people will come and see like a dynamic view of, you know, 3D animation going in and out. And they don't even know I use code, pure code, um, Flutter to, to write it. So, um, this very one, uh, the for what demo is what I'll try to walk you through, and I'll show you how the hot load works, and the power Flutter has, you know, connecting and discussing with the um, computer hardware. Um, then this dart, this dart, let me say, is the wife of Flutter. If Flutter is the husband, this is the wife. If Flutter is the wife, this is the husband. Like, A has to have a B to C to continue living life. You have a left and right hand. So, if you, for example, want to eat, use your left, right hand. Or, 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 for example, somebody who wants to write, or maybe you want to hit someone, maybe you use right. But sometimes, you just want to carry something, you can use it with left. What I am trying to say is, using just pure Flutter, you can build your app. Yeah, you can build an app with pure, um, with pure Flutter. But if at some point in time you will need some, you know, dynamicity in your app, like saving some data, retrieving some data somewhere, you know, fetching APIs, so you will need to use to use um, um, uh, that. So yeah. that is like the back end. That is the programming language that is for your Flutter. That is the back end of the Flutter. That that is the, you know the prefect. It has the power to move Flutter and make Flutter more nice and more enjoyable. So um, uh, um, I think uh, you can connect to me on Twitter. You can be saying hi and hello and whatever. So um, I'm. You know, instead of using JavaScript, you can use Flutter and it will work the same. Yeah. If you want to build a Google app, it yeah. works the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's, that's the first question I want to ask. The second is, is Flutter a programming language? Well, Flutter is not a programming language on its own. Flutter is software development kit. Like, this place is a tech home, but this place is not tech. Because tech on its own, like technology, is, is a field. And tech home is a field for rendering technology, right? So yeah. Flutter is an SDK that is built fully for for building web apps, mobile apps, you know, graphic design, 3D rendering, and games. It's just a place that, like a swimming pool, you get in and you bath and you come out. Then you have to use that. Um, there is no necessity in it. Um, like what I'm trying to um, what I'm trying to explain to you is. What I'm trying to explain to you is, for example, if you have if you have um, some apps that are built on a back end somewhere, then you expose the APIs. You got so you can just use Flutter now without using that, and you can consume the API. If you don't have all of that, and you want to have, let's say, everything on the server side rendering or on the client side, you want to have more features, more functionalities, then you have to use that on on on, on Flutter because this fully works on the client side. You got. Like, if you know Next.js, so Flutter has some features that are close to Next.js working on client side and server side at the same time. If you are still confused and you still need more clarification, I will take you back to those things and you will check about these things. And you can hashtag on, on, on Twitter, you can hashtag Flutter for one, you can ask more questions and you have a vast answer that can suit you as well, I believe. So, may I try to this I don't I don't know much about Flutter and, and um, and that because um, I, I feel if you talk about I, I knew that I've worked um, in a team where Flutter was used for mobile development. Right? So I feel um, Flutter is like I, I wouldn't want to see what I don't do, right? Yeah. But Flutter is a cross platform um, uh, uh, development. I don't know if it's a framework, right? But um, what it means is that. First of all, uh, something like React Native. So for React Native, React Native can be used to build mobile apps 
and Android apps, right? And React Native is so close to React, right? In most cases, people who know React can easily switch into React Native, right? So um, I think the point Miner is making, um, which I'm also sure of, but you have to probably make more research, is the fact that uh, from what he's saying, I know that that is a language. Uh, but he's saying um, that is to make like an make API calls, meaning that to be sure, is that like um, Axios? Do you use that the way you use Axios or the way you use requests? No, we use it for requests. Just for routing. So uh, probably we just make more research on that. Yeah. But the key thing is Flutter is used to build cross platform applications, uh, meaning that instead of a company to hire different developers to build. You know that Android and iOS are two different things, right? So for an iOS developer, he is an iOS developer. And they call those developers native developers. So Android developer is a native developer. iOS developer is a native developer. He builds um, 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 uh, uh, iOS applications, right? Using, um, uh, oh man. Swift. Swift. Yeah, so then for Android, we build Android using Kotlin, Java, yeah. right? That's Android native. So now, because of the cost of this, mainly Nigerian companies, Nigerian companies are fans of cutting edges. Something like your your access bank application. Most of these things are like Android apps, but they are running on something like web engines, right? So that's why you see that when you open your your at some of this, your bank apps, it looks like web. It looks like you're communicating with the web. It does not look native like the native app, uh, uh, application. So that is just what Flutter is doing for you. And uh, 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 to add more to what you said, like Flutter could also be used for the web. Uh, I'm actually putting you, right? Don't quote me. I don't know much about Flutter. I just know that Flutter is a cross platform app you can use on, uh, um, to build iOS apps, you can use it to build Android apps, and yeah. So that's that's just it. so for more clarification, you could like dig deep and like read more into it. Okay, um, uh, asking about Flutter and Kotlin. So they, these two come from different backgrounds. Like Flutter is built by Google Devs, your Google developers, to ease their work, and they allow it to become you know easily accessible for you well, and so that we can still solve our problems. While Kotlin too, Kotlin is supposed to be a framework. If I know, I don't know too of Kotlin, but it's from PHP background. So PHP is a different programming language because now Kotlin yet um, uh, let me say Kotlin was given birth because of um, problems that PHP developers used to have. I don't know. I, I don't say that. So I yeah, okay. You see, you now you so, you've been with the uh, example and that. Uh, the, so, so, yes, can I, can I, can I speak? Yes, yes. Yes. Sorry, please let me um, clarify. I, I actually learned Android. Um, I, I think I, I think it's high time. I'm very sorry. So, I think it's high time because I, boss has chipped in once and he's like chipping in another time. Okay. We just allow him to be on stage and speak to us about <laughs> all these things. Because no, sorry, uh, before he's here, I need, to, I need to tell you who he is. No, because really, you need I to know. Don't, don't like that. He's <laughs> a senior front end engineer, you know, and he's working internationally. Wow. So he has this vast skill of how things are done and how things are supposed to be done. So myself, if you notice, know, I'm shivering standing here, ah, so speaking because he's around. Mm -hmm. So I'm having all of that, you know, the poster syndrome of speaking. No, 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 no. Right. So please, a round of applause for him. To answer your question about Kotlin, I learned Android development um, poorly, very, very poorly. So I know a little about Android. So Kotlin is somewhat closer to Java. So if you know Java, you can easily switch to Kotlin. So for Kotlin, right, Kotlin is more of like OOP and functional, right? So you know, you know, you push know what OOP is, like Java. Yeah, so like, yeah, to like, to like, to like, to like, like Java is strongly OOP, C sharp is strongly OOP. So if you your um Kotlin has both OOP features and um functional features, so uh, it's noticed that building applications using uh using Java was like very very difficult. Like people run away from programming because of things like that. You know, over time, like they've been learning and learning, like all the way from assembly language to um, 
to uh, all, all the way from machine learning, machine language to assembly language to um, higher level, level languages, right? So Java is is really 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 high high in demand. Most people who talk to me that they want to come into software engineering, I just tell them, <laughs> is it money that you want? Yeah, go to Java. Is it, is it job you want to go to Java? But it's, it's pretty difficult and, and like that. I mean, I can't tell Java. That's the truth. <laughs> so, um, that, because of the difficulties that Java presents, Google came up with building Kotlin. So, Google is also doing that with Kotlin. So, if, if you write Kotlin, you see that Kotlin is somewhat very close to Java. And, and like, um, just presents you the difficult things you do in Java. For example, you might want to create a class in Java, right? You have like create constructors and so on and so forth. But in Kotlin, you just when you are creating the, the objects, the class, you just pass the values that you want. You don't need to come and start declaring those things in Kotlin. Not that it does not happen, right? It does, but makes the things like far more easier for you and like that. So that's 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 just the difference between Kotlin. So also, Kotlin presents the opportunity to build Android apps and also work on the back end. So the framework for Kotlin to work on the back end is k uh, So when k K-T-O-R, when they, when they talked about Kotlin, they said that Bash is not. Bash is my boss. <laughs> Bash is my boss. I work in the same place with him and like, I work directly on that. So uh, um, then when I was working with Kotlin, my major experience in Kotlin is actually for the back end. So I was using Kotlin and k to build um, back end applications. So I don't know if that answers your question. Kind of voice, I'm Kotlin. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can't in software engineering. I don't think that the question should reach its level. Yes, you just have to choose the thing is, what's the problem and what's better for the problem. That's 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 just for some yeah. like some people have course now that that we are that new, that we're new to it now. Where which one would you advise somebody to dive into? Since I don't have background on Jota nor on Kotlin. Which one solves more problems? It's 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 a decision you make, right? The only thing is we, 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 we just know more about what's happening, but it's a decision you need to make. So um, if if you want to go into Android development, you know. For example, I I, I was writing code, right? But I needed a job. I needed a job crazy. What did I do? I learned JavaScript. I knew JavaScript don't pay much, but I knew like that jobs, like JavaScript jobs. And I was not really crazy about the kind of pain I get. I was just crazy about getting a job now. And JavaScript is like every day I learn JavaScript. So for you, it's, it's there for you. What do you want to achieve? What do you want to do? What's the future for you? So that's, that's if, if, if not, like you just get stuck doing something without the direction. I don't know if there's any other thing that I'm supposed to talk about. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, what to see actually, just like how our big boss uh, said, like I didn't come to get to talk about Flutter, I don't really have experience or I don't know about Flutter, I don't know about that, right? But the truth is that software engineering is a higher. If we come from the classroom to talk about software engineering, it is a skill. It is just like you going to learn how to patch tire on your phone. It's just like you're going to learn how to fix mechanics, like fix cars, right? The first thing you should know is that nothing comes, nothing comes easy. Even if you put it in it does not come easy. That's the first preparation that we should have in our mind, right? <coughs> it is okay for you to feel bad that you don't understand it. It is okay for you to start and feel. It is very good. My, my journey was a crazy one, right? I went through like so many problems. I do not till now. I will tell you that I am so confident in what I'm doing. What I'm doing is, right? So that is that's the first thing. Your mind. You have to make up your mind that this is it. This is the path I want to tread. This is the place I want to go to, right? And like if you look at the opportunities that it presents you, it gives you the, the, the mindset for you to like keep pushing. Like, that actually gives you the opportunity to 
they can actually give you the opportunity to like to to to, 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 to get school, right? And one thing I I learned a lot about this software engineers the fact that I don't know most of them are just very simple, right? And it's it's like a trend, right? And people are always willing to help. People are always willing to help. In fact, when I was watching one day, I was stuck and I called my friend in the middle of the night at 11 and my mom was surprised at 11 o'clock I'm calling somebody, the person is answering me. The person is like working with me to fix my problem that does not concern me. So you see that people know, everybody knows that it's not, it's not easy, right? It's difficult. But first of all, we have to make up our mind to do it. That's, that's, that's the first thing. Make up your mind to do it. Right? Then, aside that, as someone who is new to tech, this is like the most difficult time. It's the most difficult time. Like, you have so many things flying around. You go to YouTube, you, go to YouTube, you see Flutter, you see that, you see JavaScript, you see React, you see. There was a day when I, was, when I started learning React, right? I was watching React to React, and our lead engineer just passed, passed, and saw my system. Oh, you are learning React. What are you learning? I said, read us. Oh, read us. Oh, do you know remix is out? What the heck? <laughs> what's remix? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, what's remix? Oh, remix is wonderful. Remix is not showing me things, and I was just looking at him. So, the truth is, keep, keep, keep your name for now. Keeps your lane for now, right? That's 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 the thing. Do you want to learn how to Is it from you? Is it is it is it that like blend it and make a living out of it first? Do you want to go into machine learning? What's the path to machine learning? Learn it, cheat to it, make it out of it. Then the thing now is that there are lots of opportunities out there. Our uh, boss told you he's self taught. I'm not self taught. I went to school. I went to Metacom. I came to Metacom. I came out of Metacom. I did handle the development in Metacom. Then, after when I came out from Metacom, I now started learning new shit. I started doing this. The one thing I learned in Metacom is super handy. Then I now taught myself in Metacom. Right? So, so, um, there are different ways to achieve this thing. And for me, like, it gives me joy if you know, if, if, if you see people who know me, and who know so many other people in this field, it gives people in the field joy to see that somebody else is willing to come. It gives, it, gives, it gives us joy, it gives everybody joy to know that somebody is coming. Right? Even though it seems complicated, um, um, but it's something you should look forward to. It's something that gives gratification. You start doing something, you don't know where it's going to work. Then, after two days, four days, you are finished doing it. And when I was taking my bath today, I was, because yesterday I was like, really struggling with something. And funny enough, I was able to like close up, finish the day. So when I was taking my bath, I was coming up with a funny thing in my head. I was just saying that. I was saying, when, I was saying I'm going to post that, I'm going to post it. When I have a book, I try to like fix the book. I try to read about the book. I try to read about it. And when I cannot solve it, I stare at my screen for a long time and the solution will come. <laughs> so um so that's that's just the two words for me, right? And then one other thing is this. Sorry, my now I might be it's not yet, so I'm safe. Uh, becoming a software engineer does not mean you should lose your 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 life, right? And lose your life in the sense I mean is that there are people who love you. You have relatives. You have friends from childhood. It does not mean you should be away from them. It's my cut to me, right? But it's in the spirit won't solve anything. The major love you enjoy 
um, as a developer, right? Because most times your job might keep you in. But you could, you, most people will still advise you to have a social life. You still need it. You still need people around to talk to. You still need people to relate with. Right? You still need your family members. You still need to make friends around. Because no human being is complete. Um, keeping himself in it. In fact, people believe that resting is not sleeping. Do you, do you know that like, resting is not sleeping? So you can go and be playing outside and you're resting. You can go and be doing any other thing and you're resting. That's because you're relaxing. So um, for me, that's that. I don't know if you guys have any other questions. Yeah. <coughs> for now, as a, for example, I had the opportunity to get started and I was living the admission of it due to the far distance of being for the exam, according to because of my baby. So I don't know maybe how you can explain it that <coughs> maybe the exam can, I, I, like, have you, um, are they teaching the exam, uh, giving the exam online or you must be present for the exam? Because they were saying that it is either Lagos or Edo State. And I cannot go for the books. Without the books, I cannot go there to go and for the course. I cannot go. So I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I'm really sorry, man. At this GDG, GDG uh, stuff, and I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that was the bad thing to talk about that. Um, uh, I trained in Decathlon in 2019. Um, pretty much then it was only the Lagos campus, and everything was physical. We go to physical classes. So, but to answer your question directly, you have to be in Edo or Lagos, right? For the assessment, you have to be in Edo or Lagos to take the assessment. For the training, you have to be in Edo or Lagos. Even though the training is virtual, but they need you there. Because the truth is this um, there is no two ways about it. Jacobon training is intense. That's the truth. You, um, they will provide you all the facilities for you to learn, but you, you yourself have to do the work. And you can't be here doing the work, that's the truth. You can't. The funny thing is that things that places like Decathlon, everybody has his own opinion about Decathlon, right? Things, things that places like Decathlon do is this. In six months, they will shove experience of three, four years into your head. That's what Decathlon would do, like, and shopping this experience is not, is not something of you must know everything, no. You will just know that this thing is existing. You know that React is existing, you know that Java is existing, you know that OOP is existing. You, when, aside coaching, you will be doing, like, the, you will be doing, like, the um, um, interview preparation, you will be doing agile development, you will be doing assessment, you will be doing algorithm. You can't be doing that at all, right? There are so many married women to that. There are so many, so it just depends. If if um if you really want to go to the camp, then you check your baby is still very young. I won't say you should give your baby a go. You probably just push ahead small. When the baby is like, you probably be quite older, you can go. Or you, I don't know. <laughs> but the truth is, you can still learn from home right now. So that's just pretty it for me. I don't know if there's any other question. Or not. Um, yeah, sorry for stealing the whole, the whole time and talking and talking. Yeah, thank you. So, someone like him, um, we are privileged today for him to feel like he wants to come in amidst us and like speak his kind words to us. So, um, please, we should add another round of applause. So, and I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say that we are very blessed to have you here today. And I will also use this medium to say being a software engineer. Um, if you want to be, let me say, um, uh, just a graphic designer, you know, or a 3D animation guy, or whatever you want to be, if it's tech, you are supposed to enjoy the benefit of being in that group. Because I believe whatever problem you have, there are so many people there to, to you know, help you out. And, and another thing that I need to talk to you about how to speak to um, senior engineers is, you can talk to a person today, 
And believe me, maybe somebody will not reply you until next month. Like I am, I am. This is not, this is not a fake. It's a real scenario. I talked to someone. Eight months later, he get back to me. Yeah, eight months later, because people are so busy, especially those devs. You know, I met someone that tell me that twenty four hours are too, are too short for him. You get, like, if there is a way for him to advance more hours, he should. Twenty four hours is still limited for him. So this is a typical life of every software engineer. 24 hours is too typical. Once in two minimum. Once you see 8 a.m., before you check your time again, it's 2 p.m. Before you check your time, it's 6 p.m. So, so, and you have been wasting your time, you know, either you are doing it for good or you are just wasting your time. Because either way, you will just sit in front of screen and be looking at things. So, I, I promised you that at, at the end of my, um, my, my talk, um, we will have, let's say, a little bit of preview about how Flutterweb works and the demo of how it's going to um, work. So I intentionally keep it to be the last thing we do. But um, before I started working on the demo, I seen food is around, you know, among the FFO guys, like for food only. So um, we will try to allow them to start dispatching the food and um, then while I'm setting up how to walk us through the demo, right? So um, 